Okay, so let's talk about how to do uh, CD loom weaving. Um, I have a bajillion CDs. I sent out a school email and got a ton back. Most of them were from folks that had been saving them from those days back when like AOL and everybody was sending us info on DVDs. Hey guys, how's it going? So if you send out an email, you're gonna end up more than you could ever ask for. So let's see if I can do this without showing you my goofball looking face. So you're gonna start out with a pre-cut length of yarn. I just wrapped a piece of yarn around here several times to kind of get the length correct um, and to know what size to give the kids. So to start, have them hang with you on the floor with their CD and their piece of string. And your first step is you're going to feed this string through the CD. And I learned all these directions from Julie O'Brien, who writes the awesome art teacher blog called Art Matters. She's got the photo step-by-step. -step. So if you're more of a photo step-by-step -step person, then she's your girl. So she said to go ahead and feed it through the center and tie a snug double knot at the top once twice and then once you've got that you're going to slide that knot down to the middle so just going to scoochie it down and now i'm just going to start wrapping the strings the string around the cd by feeding it through the center so unfortunately for me let me see if i can get this the right length a little bit smaller because i think i actually have a piece that's too big and it's just going to get knotted as i try to feed it through so i'm going to say that that looks like it'd be a good amount like I said, pre-cutting and planning before sharing this with the kids would be a great idea. So now that I've got a start, I'm going to go ahead and feed it through the center. Maybe. There we go. And wrap it some more. Now, the, one of the reasons I always hesitated to do CD weaving with the kids is because I thought that the surface of the CD would be so slick that the strings would constantly slide and they're not budging. I mean, they're wiggly if I try to move them, but if it's pulled tightly enough, you don't have to pull it crazy tight, but if it's pulled tightly enough, it'll be just fine. It doesn't really seem to move much on its own. If it does wiggle out of place, the cool thing is you can just move it back. I often thought when I did this that I would have to put notches in the CD, which is why I always had avoided doing CD weaving until I saw Julie's amazing uh, tutorial. So she did say that you need an odd number of strings. Let's see how many I have going on here. Hopefully I kept my string long enough. So I'm going to do it once more. And the end of this string, I'm just going to tie it to that tail with a double knot. Now, of course, if you wanted a tighter weaving, you would add, I mean, a couple of more I would say maybe no more than 13 but that's just a guess I've done this with the kids before they loved it I haven't done it for a couple of years which is why I'm kind of clueless now once that's done I'm just gonna start weaving now when we start weaving these you could tie a knot here I'm gonna give it a go without tying a knot at all so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tail and you know what I lied I'm gonna do a double knot right here. Actually, a single. I have no clue what I'm talking about. There we go. Snip and start. I'm gonna call that over and I'll start by going under. And this is a lot like the circle loom weaving process and that you are using your fingers to lift them up. When I did this with the kids, I gave them plastic needles just because it was a little bit easier for them to get over and under those strings when they first started. Plus, they think using a plastic needle makes them a total grown up and awesome. So that's always fun to do too. I'm gonna work on weaving this for a couple of minutes and I'll get back to you to show you my progress. Peace out.